Come on in, Andy Posda. I want you to come on to this. Uh, I, I want you to talk to us about these holiday delays. You've got a shipping problem, you've got a trucking problem, you've got a supply chain problem. How bad are these delays going to be and how seriously will it hurt the economy? Uh, the delays are going to be substantial and they're going to hurt the economy in that they will exacerbate uh, the problems that already exist with respect to inflation. And as you know, inflation is a tax on yeah. the working and middle class more than it's a tax on anybody else. And if you're encouraging people not to work, you know, with you know, they've increased uh, SNAP benefits. They've got these child tax credits that they want to make permanent. Uh, we just ended the unemployment bonus, but it, but people still have a ton of savings from all the largesse during the shutdown. When you've got all this government support for not working, it's hard to get people in those manufacturing plants. It's hard to get them in those trucks and to get those goods delivered, and we're seeing the results. Yeah, and inflation is the problem of the day, the week, the month, and possibly the year. We got nat gas at six bucks, got oil at 77, 78, and now we've got the supply chain shortage. It really messes it up. I've got the Dow now down 420 points, and that's the inflation news, I presume. And the no, uh, you can't, you know, you can't. You say you can't, you can't tell the world that the largest energy producer is going to be producing less oil. You know, cutting down the pipelines and. Right. and canceling leases and then that energy producer goes and begs saudi arabia and russia to produce more oil to try and keep the prices down it's a it's a ridiculous situation and it's all caused by uh, by government it's caused by the biden administration energy policy whilst we have you andy some restaurant owners are pushing to make those outdoor dining areas i think they call them outdoor eateries they're going to make them permanent what do you think to that well, i think it's great for the restaurants you know you get people who don't who are reluctant to go into the dining rooms are more likely to come. If it's nice weather, everybody likes to sit outside. And generally, they're not paying rent for those spaces. It's much nicer to have people sitting at tables out in front of your restaurants than it is to have a you know, a line of SUVs or something parked out there where they can't even see the restaurant. So for the restaurant sector, which needs a lot of help, particularly in places like New York, as you know, uh, this could be a real positive. But you do know that some of those outdoor eateries in New York become homeless shelters at night. I mean, you do know that, don't you? Because it's well, a difficult scene there sometimes. Well, I, uh, I've got, I got to get up to New York. I haven't been there for a few months, so I haven't seen that yet. But, uh, but I could understand. Look, if this needs to be managed. That the, the businesses need to manage it. They're going to need help from the city. Uh, but I think overall it could be a positive for uh, the restaurants. It could be a positive for creating jobs in the restaurants uh, as long as it's properly managed. I'll buy you lunch uh, as long as it's not too cold outside. All right, Andy, Sounds thanks great. for being here. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Stuart. Good to see you.